going, it's Brad. I have some really good news. I've been through a lot lately, and I've, um, I've really developed as a person. Um, but it's been very hard. There's, there's been a lot of, like, ups and downs to it. Um, but I, I'm absolutely confident that it's been a profoundly spiritual experience, a profoundly intentional experience on someone's part. I don't know who that is, if it's me or God or the universe or, you know, some sort of conditioning in my mind or... I don't even know if the universe exists, really. It could all be in my head, which is called solipsism, which is really awesome, which I'll tell you about some other time. But, um, but I just wanted to tell, to, um, to make this video to, uh, I, I feel really good right now because I feel like the universe has just told me that my vision of progress and of, of transforming the world into something you know, greater and more interesting and more dynamic and more chaotic and, and just, um, I feel that God has just verified for me, um, my very deep instinct that spirituality is not only about stillness, but it's also about motion, about acceleration. The universe, in many ways, the universe is going I mean, our world is going too fast, you know, we're, like, using up too many resources, and we're, like, you know, all the bad shit about capitalism and all that, and, um, and people, you know, there's movements to, like, return to the earth and, and slow down and, you know, all sorts of stuff like that, but at the same time, we are just a hair's breadth away from transforming the world through technology from above. And, and we're already transforming people through technology. We're, we're already making the meaning of, of what, you know, how people, how people socialize and how people connect and just, um, you know, open source, Wikipedia, Twitter, like things that are touted so much and also like made fun of a lot because it's like it's just technology. But it's not just technology. It's life, you know, it's a new life. And so, there's a lot of tension between those two ideas, and, um, and there really is tension. I mean, <laughs> it's, I guess it's, it's trouble, it's, re it's difficult to resolve, but I feel confident at this point that God has an answer for both. God can give us both things, both slowed down and also speed it up. We can resolve them. And um, and more importantly for me, personally, I, I learned that it's okay to dedicate my life, my life right now. Well, when I say my life, I mean my life's work. It's okay to have life's work and be focused on transforming the world and, and just creating unthought of reality, unthought of futures, you know, like science fiction. I, I've, I've learned so much and I have so much power from the knowledge and I've been afraid to use it. And you do need to use it cautiously and be sure that you're never, like, hurting anyone. You, you can never intentionally hurt anyone. But at the same time, like, a little collateral damage is is okay, because it's not just my dream, it's a collective dream of Western civilization, you know? By achieving whatever it is that, th the tipping point that brings us to a new order of magnitude, a new dimension, a new, you know, that, that raises all the limits of what, of what's possible through through ingenuity, through the mind, through technology. That's, and also through the body and through nature and through spiritual awareness. They're not incompatible, and, and it's okay to strive for higher. You can never hurt the lower, but, but you can always go higher. 
And, um, and that's really big for me. So, so I just wanted to share that with you all. I wanted to record it, and, um, because it's a real milestone for me, and I want to, uh, it's something that needs to be made public, because I want to show the world who I am, and I want the world to know who I am. And, um, I hope they won't fight me <laughs> a lot. But, um, but I also want to reassure people, you know, don't, don't worry about the end of the world. I mean, the end of the world will probably come, but it'll probably be the beginning of the next world. And it doesn't have to be with a gap that ends in a ball of fire, you know? It could be... It can be something done by, by people, for people. And the universe will work with that. It's okay. Like, we don't have to have an apocalypse to... to move on to another dimension, is what I'm trying to say. So, and I'll be explaining this for probably many years. <laughs> so, uh, if you have any questions, just... Uh, hang tight, but go ahead and start asking, because that will give me more starting points. So that's all. I've enjoyed talking to you all tonight, and I hope you've enjoyed listening. Love you. Bye.